In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do affiliate marketing even as a complete beginner. And what's really annoying is that there's so many people on YouTube who keep telling me how, how easy it is to do affiliate marketing when to be honest, it actually is a little bit difficult to do if you're just trying to piece it together from this video and that video. So I want to be able to simplify the process as much as possible so that you can at least have an idea of what you need to do and move forward with so that you can start making some money with your affiliate marketing online business as soon as possible. Now, usually what I recommend people do when they are first getting started is you need to work backwards in this entire process. And when I say backwards, I mean you need to find something that you're going to make money with. Find a way that you're going to be monetizing the content that you're going to be creating and then work backwards from there. By doing that, we create a funnel or a process that you can walk people through so that you get a whole bunch of people at the very beginning and then at the very end, someone hopefully squeezes out as a buyer. Now, usually when you are promoting things online, there's two types of products that you can promote. You can promote digital products or you can promote physical products. So just to be 100% clear, a physical product is something tangible, something that you can hold like this pen. Now, a digital product would be something like a course or something that people can buy, some information to help them complete a particular task. Of the two, I really think you should go with the digital route because people pay a lot of money for information. Think about it. When you go to college, how much money do colleges charge? And it just seems to keep going up and up with time. And that is because they understand the value of the information that they are providing. You can definitely do this even on a smaller scale by either promoting or creating other types of products where you can get a decent sized commission. And the reason for this is pretty obvious, but let's just dive into it. So the reason why a physical product is probably not the best idea to go with usually is because all of the overhead that is required in order to create, ship, and store a product. So for example, I have one of my son's car here. Someone had to design this. Someone had to put it together. Then they needed to put it into some type of storage facility waiting for somebody like us to come online and go and buy it. Now, even though selling physical products online does work, it ends up costing you more money and you get less of it back. And if you're jumping in doing the affiliate marketing route, that means you're going to get even less money for each sale that you end up creating. Now, the cool thing about a digital product is when you create it, you only got to create it once. Find a place online where you can store it and then sell it to as many people as possible. So when you are starting with your affiliate marketing career, find something that's going to be digital. That way you can continue to promote it and get much higher commissions every time there's a sale. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to define your audience. Now, this one can sound a little ambiguous. Like, what do you mean by define your audience? And it's also important to realize that you don't necessarily need to have an audience to be able to identify it. So just because you don't have an audience at this point doesn't mean that you can't sit down and figure out what your audience would want to hear and listen to. So in order to define your audience, Meredith Hill once said, if you talk to everybody, you end up talking to nobody. So it's very important to pick one particular audience, one particular group of people to talk to, and this is sometimes called a niche. Now, I know what you might be thinking, why do I not wanna to talk to everybody, right? Because the more people I talk to, the more sales I can possibly get. It seems right, but to be honest, that's actually the backwards way of thinking about it. Think of it this way, watching television is just like things that are niched down. For example, there is a cooking channel, right? There is a politics channel, there's a cartoon channel, there's a music channel. These are all different channels that people, whatever they are into, whatever they want to do at that moment, are gonna tune in that channel and know what they are going to get. If I'm watching the Cooking Network, and all of a sudden they start talking about politics, I'm probably not gonna be interested anymore in what they have to say. So it's up to you to be very specific in who you want to promote things to. Once you finally found that out, now it's time to sit down and start creating content, talking to that specific person. And it can really be about anything. It could be about cooking, golf, vacuum cleaners. It doesn't matter. So once you have clearly defined a monetization strategy on your site and you figured out who your direct customer that you want to be speaking to, the number three thing that you want to do to start with your affiliate marketing business is you need to decide where you're going to find people. And what's most annoying is that a lot of these people online, they tell you, oh yeah, you just need to put a link here, a link there, click it, and then they'll go buy but you gotta find out how you can get in front of those particular people. Another word in this is called a traffic source. So where are you going to be getting traffic to your affiliate offers? Now deciding on a traffic source really depends on what it is that you enjoy doing. If you like video, do YouTube or Facebook Lives or live on Instagram. If you don't like video and you like writing, then start a blog. Or if you don't have time to do either of those and you have some money to blow, you can pay for ads, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or wherever. So choose one traffic source, get the income where you want it to be, and then move on to the next. So my personal favorite is blogging and YouTube. They are some great ways to create content on and that sticks around for a very long time. So if you wanna learn more about how to create an affiliate marketing business, be sure to go check the video out right there where I lay it very, very simply, where even a five-year-old can figure it out. See you there.